Ayan, time check mga kasers. It's already 12.41 in the morning. Pero gising pa rin tayo kasi gusto ko makatulong sa inyo at makapagbigay ng tutorial. Bagong tutorial ko. Ito po ay tungkol sa math. At ang branch po ng math ay statistics. It's all about computed mean value. Na ang tanong, bakit, bakit ito yung napili ko? Kasi yung last exam ng September 29, ay may lumabas po na ganitong question. So, gusto ko po makatulong and sana tapusin nyo po yung video para malaman nyo kung paano mag-solve nito ng computing mean value. So, ano nang hinihintay natin? Tara na, let's start. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a, or how to find a computing mean value. So, for question number one, Teacher Philip gave a math test to a group of students. The distribution of the scores is as follows. So, may scores dito. Ayan. 21 to 25, 16 to 20, 11 to 15, 6 to 10, and 1 to 5. Tapos, may corresponding frequency siya. 2, 5, 12, 4, 1. And the question is, what is the computed mean value? So, may mga choices po dito. A, 13.6. B, 14.1. C, 12. And D, 15.4. To solve this problem, first, all you have to do is to look at your scores and then find the median of, its, of each interval of the scores. So, for the first one, for the first interval, 21 to 25, So, by the way, median is the middlemost core of the data. So, for the 21 to 25, the middlemost score for that is 23. 23. And then, you're going to multiply it to its corresponding frequency. So, 23, which is the median For the first interval, 21 to 25 times the frequency times 2. And then for the next score interval, 16 to 20, so the median for that will be 18 and will be multiplied by 5. For the next, we have 13 times 12 we have 8 times 4 and we have 3 times 1 so we're going to multiply it now 23 times 2 that is 46 18 times 5 that is 90 13 times 12, that is 13 times 12, 6, 2, times 4, that's 32, and 3 times 1, 3. After that, you add it up. So, 6 plus 6, 12 plus 2, 14. Plus 1 plus 4, 5 plus 9, 14 5, 19 3, plus 1, that's 327 all in all. After you get the sum, you need to divide it by the total number of frequencies. So, we are going to sum up the total number of frequencies. And for the frequency, 2 plus 5 plus 12 plus 4 plus 1. So, that's 7, 19, 20, 24. And then, the total number of frequencies is 24. After that, 
You're going to divide 327 divided by 24. So, 32 divided by 24, that is 1. 1 times 24, that is 24. 32 minus 24, that's 8. And then bring, bring down 7. 87 divided by 24, that's 3. Okay? So, if you are taking an exam, so you don't need to answer all or didn't need to get the specific answer. You're just looking at the options, which is the nearest. So because we have now 13 and the only choices that has 13, that has first 13 is option A. So automatic that the answer is option A. So... But for, for your justice, I'm going to show you how we get the 13.6. So let's continue. 13 time, uh, 3 times 24, that would be 1272. 87 minus 72 is 5. 7 minus 2, 5. And then 15. So next will be you're going to add a point here and then you're going to add zero to the dividend and you're going to bring it down so that it will become 150 so you can now divide 150 to 24 150 divided by 24 that would be 6 and 6 times 24 4 carry 2 6 times 2 12 that's 144 and 150 minus 144 6 so you got it now the answer is 13.6 we'll stop there because the options are all in one decimal places or one decimal place so you got the answer now that is option A so for those na na-confuse kung paano mag-divide or mag-times so huwag kayong mag-alala so magkakaroon ako ng bagong video tungkol dyan. So, mag paano mag-divide, may, may, may decimal, uh, may decimal na quotient. So, yun, yun. Uh, kasi, sa exam, especially sa let, wala kasing calculator. So, walang alad na calculator. Dapat, master nyo yung basic sa division. So, yun mga kasir. Proceed tayo para sa question number 2. Ayan. Question number 2 It says that the table shows the students' grades and the corresponding number of units for each subject So may makikita kayang tatlong column Subjects, units, and grade So Filipino, English, Math, Science, Aral, Plan, and Computer, and PE So may units tayo dito, corresponding units in the subject so, magkapareha lang siya or same lang siya sa question number 1 natin, yung process same lang talaga. Pero, pag hindi mo alam kung paano ito solve, talagang malilito ka pagdating sa exam. Kasi walang cal calculator talaga na allowed. Ang gagawin mo lang dito, ito po yung type na exam na kung saan, ganito po yung pagka-solve ng mga grades nyo, especially in college. Kasi by units yung sa college, may weight siya sa in, in every subject. Ang gagawin lang natin dito, una, syempre, kukuha ka ng scratch paper. Ayan. 
So, same. Ang grade mo, sabihin natin grade. Ayan. I-times mo lang sa unit. Okay? So, yung grade natin sa first subject for Filipino is 88. Ayan. So, lagyan na lang dito ni natin dito Filipino 88 times yung total number of units ng Filipino 3 next for English for English 90 times 3 for math It's 94 times 3. For science, ayan, 91 times 5. Okay. AP or Aralpan, 87, kita nyo, 87 times 5. Yung corresponding unit niya is 3. 87 times 3. Computer, 96 times 2. And then PE, 90 times 1. So, after mga magawa yan, Kunin natin yung product. Okay. So, 88 times 3. Dito tayo. 88 times 3. 24 carry 2. 264. Ninety times 3. 270 94 times 3 12 carry 1 282 91 times 5 that's 455 87 times 3 So, dapat sa exam, uh, mabilis ka talaga mag-solve. No? Master mo talaga yung basic multiplication din. 96 times 2, 12, carry 1, 18, And then 90. Pagkatapos mo multiply lahat, same as the question number 1, i-add mo lahat. So, before that, dapat, sa pag-multiply mo pa lang o sa paglagay mo pa lang ng product ng bawat data, dapat naka-align na yung ones, tens, and hundreds digit mo para hindi ka mahirapan sa pag-add. Okay? So, 4 plus 2, 6, 11, 12, 12, and then 14. Carry 1. 7, fourteen, twenty two, twenty seven, thirty three, forty two, fifty one, seven, nine, eleven, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen. Ayan. So the total sum ay one thousand eight hundred and fourteen. After mong ma-total, yung sum ay katulad ng sa question 1, i-divide mo yung sum sa total number of units dito. So, i-add natin yung total number of units. 3, 6, 9, 14, 17, 20. 20. So, may 20 total number of units ka. Ang gagawin mo, i-divide mo 
yung 1,814, divide mo yan in 20. So first, since 2 digit, so kung paano mag-divide, since 2 digit yung divisor, to yung dividend, divisor, 20 ang divisor natin, 2 digit yan. So, galing dito sa 1, mag-account ka ng 2 digit din. So, 1, so yung counted mo, 18. Okay, 18, divide 20, that is cannot be. Dahil cannot be yan, hanggang sa 1 ka, mag-consider. So, 181, yun, 181 na siya, divided by 20. And that is, I think, 9. 9 times 20, 180. 181 minus 180, 1. After that, bring down number 4. Okay? 14. So, naging 14 na siya. So, 14 divided by 20, that is cannot be. And if if magiging ganyan, automatic yung quotient mo will become 0. So, 90 na yan. 0 times 20, 0. 14 minus 0, 14. After that, same nung kanina, maglalagay ka dito para makuha mo yung exact na answer. Pero by the way, ito po yung choices sa ating question number 2. Nakalimutan ko lang. A, 88.9 B, 89 C, 90 and D, 90.7 So, katulad na sinabi ko kanina, uh, may clue ka na kung sino dito o saan sa, sa options na to ang sagot. So, it's either ang sagot, eliminate mo na ang A at saka B. It's either yung sagot, C, or D. Kasi hindi pa natin alam kung ano yung something, point something, ng 90. Point something ng 90 dito. Okay, pagpatuloy natin. Add ka ng 0 dito, at saka bring down mo. So, nagiging 140. 140 divided by 20, that is... 7. So, may point ka dyan. Huwag nito kalimutan yung point. It's point 7. 7 times 20, 140 and 0. So, fix yung answer natin. The answer is option D which is 90.7. Ayan. Thank you so much mga kasters sa panunood nyo sa video ko. And sana may nalearn kayo sa tutorial video ko tungkol sa computed mean value kung nagustuhan nyo naman yung video ko subscribe naman dyan sa baba and hit the notification bell para lagi kayo updated sa bagong videos ko so yan lang po thank you so much God bless and please stay at home bye bye